Hey, what's up guys? This is Andre Streppel and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute since I've posted. It's been a crazy few months to say the least, but no worries. We're going to get right back on track to weekly videos. Today, we're going to be talking about how to stand out as a photographer on Instagram in 2018. Some tips and tricks I've learned that'll help you. So let's get started right after this intro. Okay guys, so tip number one, this is gonna be keeping a consistent feed. If your page has a certain theme or a certain style to it, people are gonna know what to expect from you every single time that you post. If they love your work and your vibe, they're gonna hit that follow button and look forward to your posts every day. When I first started photography, I experimented a lot and that's really important because that'll help you find what kind of style you love. For example, if it's urban photography, if it's pet photography, if it's portrait photography, once you find what you love, you'll stick to that and then you'll become known for that type of photography. Okay, tip number two, engage with other creators in that photography niche. So if you're a portrait photographer, go find others on Instagram and connect with them. You can learn so much from this. You can see how their feed is laid out, how they edit their work, and so much more. As for me, my feed is all about creative photography. So I'm always looking for other photographers that are doing similar work and have a similar style and engaging with them. The goal is to get Instagram to recommend my account when other accounts follow those photographers because we have similar work. Okay guys, tip number three, using the right hashtags. This is really important and can help your work get discovered by hundreds if not thousands of people with a single post. You just have to know what tags to use. So what I mean about using the right tags are using tags that are relevant to your work. So if you're a car photographer, you're going to use tags that are relevant to that type of photography. Same thing if you're a landscape photographer or an urban photographer. You're not going to use tags that are completely opposite of that because it's just going to throw your audience off. Again, for me, being a creative photographer, I'm going to use tags that are relevant to that because I want pages or other people to discover me in that type of photography. Another tip within this tip is tagging feature pages. These are pages that are simply dedicated to reposting photographers and showcasing their work to thousands if not millions of followers depending how big that page is. So it's really cool. I'm gonna throw a photo up here that kind of started it all for me. This photo just kind of blew up and went through hundreds of pages because I simply used the hashtag of a really big account and it ended up on that page. So my suggestion to you is going to find some of these pages that are related to your work, tag them, use their hashtag to boost your chances on ending up on their page and being showcased to a brand new audience. Okay guys, those are my three tips on how to stand out as a photographer on Instagram in 2018. I seriously love the platform. It's so cool as photographers, we can just showcase our work and have the opportunity to reach thousands, if not millions. It's just super awesome in this day and age that we can do that. So a quick recap, keeping a consistent feed in a certain style, engaging with other creators in that photography niche, and then using the right hashtags. Those are my three tips to help you boost your work in the Instagram community. And guys, here's one last bonus tip. Just use honest, genuine engagement. That goes a long way, especially if people take the time to comment on your photo and like it. Make sure to thank them because they're taking the time to stop and appreciate your work and they're supporting your dream and what you love to do. So genuine engagement goes a long way and that's honestly very important, just like these other tips. If not, number one. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down your thoughts. I'd love to hear if you have any other tips and tricks for Instagram in 2018. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be a part of my channel. It's all about tutorials, vlogs, and other tips and tricks like this video. If you wanna follow my social networks, they're all linked below. You can see my work on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.